What's up guys, welcome back to the Detail Garage. And oh my God, we've got a treat for you today. This is a Kia that has been completely thrashed. Over the weekend, my buddy took this to Coachella. And it got covered in dirt, grime, debris, mud, bird droppings, tree sap, and even scratches and swirls. So today I'm gonna to show you the proper techniques and procedures to make sure that we don't install any new scratches and swirls while also enhancing that black shine. So to get started, we're gonna definitely get the most dirty area, which is obviously the wheels. This car was parked in the mud, so there's mud and debris that are kicked up inside of the wheel well, so we're gonna take care of that, as well as the wheel. It's got brake dust, all kinds of just grime and debris that's coated this, so we're gonna bring it back to a natural shine, and then we're gonna move on to the body using our brand new Citrus Wash Clear, which is gonna foam up to safely emulsify any of that dirt and debris without scratching. So let's get started. Like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna start with the dirtiest area, and on this car, it's obviously the wheels. So this car was tracked through mud, dirt, all kinds of good stuff where it's now kicked up on the paintwork, and to avoid adding any kind of scratches or swirls while we're taking it off, we're gonna start by rinsing it down, which is gonna loosen up the heavier dirt, and then we're gonna use our sticky citrus wheel gel with some brushes to help knock off any of that heavier stuff. So let's get started. start washing we're going to place a dirt trap in each one of our buckets we'll place them in at an angle and this prevents any kind of air getting trapped underneath it and then press it all the way against the bottom so it creates a seal which prevents any dirt from coming back up to those cones now I've got one bucket for soap and one bucket for rinsing and we're going to add one ounce of our citrus wash clear simply squirt right in the bucket and then we'll also load up our foam cannon while we're here so I'll also add one ounce to our foam cannon and we'll reattach the top and before we start washing, we're going to rinse off the vehicle to knock down the heavier loose dirt, and then we can start foaming. Alrighty guys, now that the car has been foamed up, let's take our wash mitt and start scrubbing. We're gonna work in straight lines starting at the top of the vehicle, picking up all that loose dirt and debris, the bird poop, or anything that's actually staining and harming the paint. We'll go to the roof, and we'll work in straight lines coming down. The reason why we start at the top is because this is where all the heavier loose grime is, and if we bring it down to areas we've already cleaned, it'd be counterproductive, and also it's gonna be scratching as we wash. So since this car was so dirty, we're gonna periodically come back to our second bucket to rinse off any of that grime. This way we're not scratching as we wash because it's a black paint job and that's gonna show any kind of imperfection. So we'll scrub it against the dirt trap that's releasing all the grime underneath the cones. And we'll take it outside of the bucket and we'll wring it out on the ground. This way we're not bringing it back on the car. We'll go back to our fresh water bucket, grab some more soap and we can keep on washing. As you guys saw, this car was pretty thrashed, which means the owner had a really good time at Coachella. He told us that he was partying with Mac Miller, DJ Khaled, Migos, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, a lot of adult things were happening, but we're gonna make sure that he remembers the good times and not the bad times. We're gonna watch this, get this car looking its best.
already guys, we're moving right along with the detail on this Kia. Now after washing it with Citrus Clear, it did an amazing job of pulling off anything that was sitting on the surface. But after we dried it, we noticed the paint still feels kind of rough. There's still some water spots and embedded impurities. So what we're going to do now is clay it. And then afterwards, I'm going to break down the hood 50-50 and polish one half. And then I'm going to glaze the other half to show you guys the difference between a strictly glazed side and a polished side. So let's get started on this bad boy right here. Using our clay block and some clay louver, spray it down the surface as well as on the surface of the block. And we're going to work back and forth in straight lines, picking off all the impurities. And at first, it's going to sound kind of rough or the block's going to drag, but that's because it's pulling off any kind of a grime that's stuck in the pores of the paint. So the more you go back and forth, the more it's going to pull out, and then it's going to start to get smooth, it's going to sound quiet, and that's how you know when it's time to move on. So we've just finished claying the hood. Now it feels nice and smooth, and we're gonna go ahead and move on to the polishing steps. So as I mentioned, this car has water spots, it has some scratches and swirls, and although they're not too deep, there's a lot of micro scratching, which adds up to a lot of big scratches. So I've got our torque tan effect set up with a green pad, which is gonna help refine the paint, and also using some V36, which has a cutting polish that's gonna be fine enough to help rejuvenate this paint to bring back new, fresh, high shine. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply five dime-sized drops to the pad, and then on the lowest speed setting, we'll work it out over the paintwork. And then on the highest speed setting, we'll actually do our polishing. We'll spray a little bit of pad conditioner because this is a brand new pad. This is going to help reduce friction, which reduces marring. And it's also going to give us the best results. So we'll start in a small section up here. We'll just dab it out. And then we'll spread it on speed setting one. And then we'll start polishing. So as I mentioned before, I'm going to polish one side and glaze the other. We're moving on to our glazing steps. We'll be using a black pad, which is strictly for our application processes, such as glazes, sealants, and waxes. We want to make sure that's as centered as possible, and then we're going to take our black light, which is designed specifically for black and dark colored cars to give it the ultimate shine while filling in minor scratches and swirls to give you that perfect finish. So again, we're going to apply five dime-sized drops of the pad, and then we're going to work it over that side of the hood on the slowest speed setting. Alrighty guys, you can see it's made a huge difference. Even just by applying a glaze has made a dramatic difference from how it looked earlier, but polishing is definitely the way to go. Polishing removes a very fine layer of the clear coat to reveal fresh paint, and as you can see, it's revealed that natural, deep black shine. This process can be repeated over the entire vehicle. In the meantime, we need to hop on the interior because it's filthy. You guys just sit back and enjoy. As I mentioned, we're gonna move on to the interior now. So using our total interior, this is gonna wipe down any kind of interior plastics, vinyl, uh, the dashboard has a bunch of gauge clusters, navigation screens, this is all safe for that, and it can also clean glass. And then to finish it off, we're going to need to clean the carpets, because as you can see, there's tons of grass, leaves, mud, because as I said in Coachella, this guy was having a good time, he was partying, this car smells like beer, weed, all kinds of just mess in here, so we're going to clean it up, and then we'll put an air freshener there to revive that smell, get this car back to him, happy, clean, brand new Kia. So let's get started.
Alrighty guys, we made it to the end of the detail on this Kia. Starting off with a wash using our Citrus Wash and Clear. It took off anything that was on the surface without scratching. Then we gave it a clay bar treatment because the paint felt super rough because of all the contamination that was stuck in the pores of the paint, which made it ready for polishing. Now polishing removed a very fine layer of the clear coat to reveal fresh paint, and then we topped it with our blacklight glaze to give it the ultimate finish. Now moving on to the interior, you saw that it had dirt, debris, grass, mud, pretty much anything you can throw at it in the interior. So wiping down the vinyl, the glass, and anything else that was not fabric in the car using Total Interior, it took care of that, it cleaned it and protected it without giving any shine, and then vacuum it made the carpets look factory fresh. Now as a last touch, and as a uh, sending gift off to our buddy here, we're gonna give him an AC flush because the car still has that weed beer odor in here. So using our stripper scent, we're gonna lightly mist it on the carpet, as well as a little bit on the seats. And then to flush his AC, we're gonna turn this on to maximum recirculate on max cold, and we're gonna spray it right here in the footwell. And this is where it pulls it up through the circulation system, and that brings it through the AC. So if you guys want more with these products, go to our website, chemicalguys.com. If you like this car or this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys next time right here in the Detail Garage.